there are still no cases of coronavirus in Florida. Governor Ron DeSantis is quelling fears of the coronavirus in Florida. Welcome to Florida Focus, I'm Cheyenne Pagan. And I'm Trevor Lloyd. DeSantis announced today that no one in our state has tested positive for the virus. He was one of many officials addressing widespread fears today, including Tampa Mayor Jane Castor. She spoke just hours ago and she said health officials are being extra diligent to screen people for the virus. Reporter Alexis Jones tells us what we can do now to stay safe. Bay Area schools are preparing for the coronavirus. Although zero cases have been reported in Florida, districts sent out updates to parents. They want to make sure you're washing your hands, coughing and sneezing into your arm. They also urge people to avoid sharing drinks and food. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Alexis Jones. A new poll shows former Vice President Joe Biden is back on top in Florida. He leads candidate Michael Bloomberg 34 to 25 percent, according to St. Pete polls. Early voting starts Monday in Hillsborough County. We've got 70 percent of our voters vote prior to Election Day. This year, there will be 23 early voting sites in Hillsborough County. This election, you know, is going to be a closed primary, so it's only Democrats and Republicans can vote in this. In our county, that's over 600,000 voters. You can go to the Florida Division of Elections website to find your county's early voting locations and times. James A. Haley Veterans Hospital is keeping their staff prepared for the worst. Today, they partnered with the Air National Guard and emergency services for evacuation exercises. The drill includes a staged aircraft landing with casualties aboard. The simulation allows airmen and soldiers to train for their domestic responsibilities. The University of South Florida is encouraging the Tampa Bay community to be more sustainable. Reporter Elizabeth Gutierrez takes us to today's Transportation Day. I'm standing on one of USF's busiest roads, a road that is now closed off for the public to walk, bike, and use their scooter. We're trying to just open people's minds to options that exist in transportation that can be healthier, safer, and more sustainable. Reporting for Florida Focus, I'm Elizabeth Gutierrez. That's all that we have for Florida Focus. Thank you for watching.